I'm Katrina Cotton for Investment Pitch Media. Reservoir Logics reported that its Apabeta loan drug met its primary endpoint in a pulmonary arterial hypertension or PAH investigator led pilot study. Reservoir Logics, a world leader in epigenetics or gene regulation, has been pioneering a technology which has the ability to turn multiple disease genes on or off without changing the human DNA. While most of us know that we inherit our genes via DNA, few of us realize the activity of these genes is determined by epigenetics, which literally means on top of genetics. Epigenetics has become an exciting forefront for the discovery of new medicines, such as Epibet alone, an advanced cardiovascular drug being developed by Resver Logics. In February 2020, Apabet alone became the first therapy of its kind to have been granted US FDA breakthrough therapy designation for a major cardiovascular indication to help facilitate a time-efficient drug development program, including planned clinical trials and plans for expediting the manufacturing development strategy. Apabet alone is a first-in-class small molecule that is a selective bromodomain, an extraterminal or BET inhibitor, an epigenetic mechanism that can regulate disease-causing genes. Apabet alone selectively targets a second bromodomain or BD2 within the BET proteins, producing a specific set of biological effects with potentially important benefits for patients with COVID-19, high-risk cardiovascular disease, diabetes mellitus, chronic kidney disease, end-stage renal disease treated with hemodialysis, neurodegenerative disease, Fabry disease, peripheral artery disease, and other orphan diseases while maintaining a well-described safety profile. The prevalence of BET proteins in the human body allows Apabet alone to simultaneously target multiple disease-causing biological processes, leading a new paradigm shift in the treatment of chronic disease. Dr. Steve Provencher, Director of Pulmonary Research, Institute of Cardiology and Respirology of Quebec, Laval University, and the lead investigator and sponsor of the trial stated, The study successfully achieved its primary objective of confirming the feasibility of the clinical study design and demonstrated encouraging results of Apabet alone treatment in patients with PAH. This strongly sets the ground for the planned larger double-blind study. This initial approach P trial was limited to patients diagnosed with pulmonary arterial hypertension of idiopathic hereditary origin or associated with connective tissue disease. All patients received oral Apabet alone twice daily for 16 weeks alongside existing standard of care treatments. Among the key findings, it was reported the treatment was well tolerated with all patients and the treatment improved key hemodynamic variables on top of standard of care treatment, thereby improving the quality of life for the participants. The encouraging results of the study paved the way for the larger multi-centered approach to trial, a phase two randomized placebo-controlled study of Apabet alone for the treatment of pulmonary arterial hypertension, which is expected to begin enrolling patients later this year. The shares are trading at 67 cents. For more in-depth explanation of this technology and this study, please refer to the company's news release its website, resverlogics.com, or contact the company at 403-254-9252 or by email at ir at resverlogics.com. I'm Katrina Cotton for Investment Pitch Media.